So here is looking out of my dining room door. So we have an outdoor fireplace that I'm enjoying. Got that rattan sofa. Remember my $2 deal that I got a couple weeks ago? And a nice big wood box that my hubby built to store the wood for the fire. This side of our patio, we have um, this dining set that we like to sit. We just had dinner right here, as a matter of fact. And um, yeah, so I have different planters. I'm still moving some things back in order. There's my peonies right there. Off my patio right there to the left are the peonies. We have this little patio, this um, little, you know, stepping stone kind of patio right here. And then we have these planters. See this planter right here? Okay, let me show you. See this planter? So my hubby and I built these and painted them and then he added a conduit. And we had four of these on the corners of the dance floor and we strung lights between the, the poles, all four this poles. The garage, that's the back door to the garage. There's the tent, y'all saw that. You always see my beautiful uh, river birch. I love that river birch. It's a messy kind of tree, but it's one of my favorites. And then right here is where the dance floor was. And look, it came like in sections and you assemble it. And it was a wood floor, like pergo kind of floor on the top. And it left this funny kind of grid. I think I could play tic-tac-toe or something. Just off of the back side of the garage is where we had the tent. The tent is a 30 by 30. We were able to fit about 80 people under there. And then the caterers were just around the other side of my garage. So they didn't, it was wonderful. The food was, oh my gosh, so good. Standing inside the tent and I'm looking out to the rest of my yard. There's that dance floor again. You see my crepe myrtles and then I have Leland cypress in the back. And you hear that sprinkler. See the dirt area all along back there. That's my right husband's. In. And we swing around here. This is my willow tree. The bench um, usually is in a different spot, but right here is where we had the ceremony and chairs were spread out right there. It was there's so lovely. That, um, there's the willow tree, it's a curly willow. And over here, we're gonna go closer. I gotta get around the sprinkler, but that's my rose garden. And then here's the back of our house. And then there's the patio that I was just talking about where the pergola nice. and the fire. So right in this area, we have a little pond. Sometimes I show that right here for the wedding. We had a little uh, spot set up with an outdoor fireplace and vintage chairs sitting in a circle so people could just enjoy themselves. And then around that corner, we had games. Let me get closer, but I gotta watch that spring. That corner of our, of our property. And I haven't, I don't know if I've shown you my lilacs this year. And honestly, they're, they're already done. I've been so enamored with the peonies this year. I haven't shared these, but these, these are just about fun. I have a nice row right here of Korean. lilacs we have that fun little fence i know i've shown you that before that's the other side of our property you see that stack those are pickets uh picket fence sections that i do lots of projects out of and then here's the rose garden oh, and then again here's that gorgeous curly willow and the bench and the ceremony was right here. Everybody was facing the back here. So the lilacs were the backdrop, the backdrop for the ceremony. So there's the red bud. You guys all enjoyed seeing that. It's all, it's all finished blooming now. It's doing its green thing. And lots of hostas, of course. Um, and then my rose garden and Little here's spot. Remember our fella Elmo? That's where he is. The roses literally opened up just days before the ceremony. And look at these knockout roses. They, they are just so full and thick this year. Really one of the fullest and thickest years had that we've had. Roses. Aren't they lovely? At the end of the rose garden is a squaza dogwood that is just stunning. Um, and I haven't had the time to photograph it either in the mornings so i've just been it's those peonies they just keep getting me every time i go out the door but look That's at the blue so pretty i'll try to do a picture of that tomorrow pretty, the curly willow i have to tell you something so special so the curly willow has like these it looks like cotton i can't get in too close i'm not able to can you see that it's like cotton on the branches and the during the, which was right there. Now the bench wasn't there. Pretend like that's not there. The, the ceremony was right there on the under underside of that. Well, anyway, we had the most perfect gentle breeze come through and blow on this tree. And the all these kept coming down like snow. It was so pretty. Right, we're back on the side yard. This is where we had all the games going. Oh, my husband's home. That's my truck. Anyway, we had lots of yard games. We had Jenga, tic-tac-toe. Um, the thing where you toss the bean, what is that called? Oh, cornhole. We had a couple, all sorts of things going on right, right here. I'm all the way at the other end of our, of our 
property. So you can see the side of the house, you can see the tent. This is where the games were, the dance floor, there's the tent, of course. Um, the seating section with the outdoor yes. fire. The ceremony was right over there. Uh, this side of the Rose Garden, we had a photo booth with, you know, all the masking and all that stuff that you do, the fun kind of masking. And just for fun, here's the front of our house. There's our porch. I like to sit on our front porch a lot. Here's my little doggy and my husband. Hey, tell everybody. Hey. So anyway, um, you know, you, you hear a lot about people talking about being present in the moment. And I, I really take that seriously. And I just had to do it right now, as a matter of fact. My husband was coming out and I said to him, hang on, honey, I'm I doing Cindy. Don't private. do it. That. That's their lives, their adults. And plus, I just want to be with them, like really be with them when I'm with them. 